Hello everybody, my name is Crispy. Welcome to the legacy demo of FNAC Fur. Um, yeah, sorry about that. So, um, yes, welcome. This is a, a, a demo for FNAC Fur that would have came out if they kept using the original engine. I'm pretty sure they changed engines and now they're playing, or now they, you know, they have the game re remade. So now we have this. And yes, now we're going to play that. I'm going to pick the blue file. I like the blue file. Sweet Hills Prologue. You got it. Thank you, the music. Now it's as loud as me. <laughs> Hold on, I got this. There we go, guys. See? Ouch. I slept so nicely that I fell out of my bed. Again. But what's this? I'm, I have this. I'm going to do a lisp. <laughs> But this absolutely nothing. There appears to be ab to, to, wow. There appears to not be any problems. No problems in any place whatsoever. How oh, convenient! That means I get the day all to myself. Better get to it. Oh yeah. Teach me how to doggy. Uh. Okay. I love you, my baby. All right. I don't know that many cat care. No! I already mustered the strength to get up today. I refuse to yield. I think the voice is going to make this significantly more better for me. Not a speck of dust. <laughs> oh my gosh. Admittedly, the, the, the voices will be funny. Or, not funny, I can't guarantee that, but bearable. Candy! <laughs> I'm having fun, sorry. Oh, hey, it's my twin sister, Cindy. Candy, you idiot. You totally left a huge mess. <laughs> a huge mess outside yesterday. What? Oh my god, hold on. What are you talking about, Sister Vino? Your fur. It's all over the place. Clumped up into big fur clumps. This is literally unreal. How did you even manage to lose so much fur? Slug. Slug, sl whatever. Did you just say, th this sounds like a, per a big problem for everybody but me. What can we do to fix this? You need to go collect all of your fur. All of it. But I'm just the spearhead mascot of a burger joint. I can't do stuff on my own. Think of deterred the, the, the thing a little bit. Will you pl please help me collect my fur? You've made- you make a fair point. I'm getting the voices mixed. Fine, I will come along with you on this adventure. Then I can also make sure you don't screw this- this- screw things up further. Never do that again. <laughs> you can swap between Candy and City with C. Sounds like a useless game mechanic. You're a useless game mechanic. <coughs> Apologies for the voices. Um, I had a little pizzazz. This is my my life's goal. Hey, Cindy. Wouldn't it be just like me to slouch on this couch right now? Yes, Candy. It would definitely fit your laziness. But we have a job to do. Yeah. Wrong <laughs> his face. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get sick of the voices. This music is not doing wonders for me. It's hard to think when I have the music in my ear, so hold on. I'm, I have to turn my headphones down. And I, have to sp I have to make sure I'm speaking loud enough so that I'm a... Dude, hold on. Instead of trying to fight the audio... Hold on. Yeah, whatever. Wait, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, okay, so I meant to say this. So a few days ago, because I'm not a good YouTuber at all, um, I learned how to like separate my voice volume and my actual like game volume. So now it doesn't really matter what you guys can hear, because I can just turn it down in the settings. Anyway, why are you so obsessed with flowers? Solely because of that one minigame I had ages ago. Apparently. I mean, oh, I, I did the wrong hold on. Why are you so obsessed with flowers? Solely because of that one minigame I had ages ago. Apparently. If the voice doesn't fit, that's good. It makes it funnier. A hundred dollars? Woo! Is this? Why is it locked? Why is what's locked? The cupboard. What cupboard? You got it, King. Whoa there, Mr. Sticky Paws. Those are my hard-earned monies. 
I'm just borrowing them. You know, to fern the adventure. Just remember to pay me back. Again. Alright, so he's a brokey. Love that. He's just like me, Fro. Imagine being able to sleep all day with no worries. Yeah, just imagine. I'm surprised you even managed to wake up today. I'm gonna look back at this video years later. <laughs> because inevitably this is gonna have to come out. I'm gonna look back at this video years later and completely hate the fact that I did the stupid voices because it's embarrassing. But for the day, I wanna have I wanna do something fun, so I'm gonna do something fun. What is this? <laughs> What is this, y'all locking behind Sukuna? Wait, what? Ooh, uh oh, speedrun strat, uh oh. Here lives Candy and Sydney. You got it. Oh, you hit them to save. Wait, can I do it like how they do when um, I want to be the guy? Kinda. Okay, I forget it. Candy and Cindy's home. That way. Thanks, guys. Here lives Chester the Chimpanzee. Chester, my boy. Is, is there anything special about Cindy? No, she's purple. Alright, then I want to play as her, because I like I like her color more. Hey, Cindy! I mean, hey, Candy and Cindy! It's me, Chester! Hey, hey, guess what? What? What about my bananas? Clever jokes as usual. Only the classiest from your boy. On a non-joke note, though, I uh, can't find my red banjo. You didn't yoink it as some sort of prank, right? Would it be a prank if we told you? It's just uh, that banjo was like a really big part of my image. Theoretically, taking it would be a masterful prank, but in reality, I'm very much incomplete without it. I guess we can keep an eye out for your red banjo. Candy, do we really have to? Just give him what he wants to hear. Um, much obliged to my home slices. Alright. <laughs> I had to think of something. I actually almost- I forgot midway through. Wait. Oh, some behind us. Open up the window. I wonder what all this fur does. This fanac fur. <laughs> I'm so funny, right? <laughs> These voices are stupid. I'm, gonna, I'm about to give up. Tilly the cow? Who's Tilly? That's my goat. Oh, I gotta think of a voice. Mm. <sighs> Let me think of something. No, I'm just gonna do my regular voice. Hey, you guys. What's up, Tilly? Not much. I was just literally doing nothing at all. Why, have you guys come here to invite me on an adventure? Uh, you wouldn't be- you wouldn't want to be a part of this adventure. It's more like a big cleanup mission. Speaking of cleaning, I was cleaning the place earlier, like I totally do at least once a week, totally. A anyway, I was cleaning, and I seem to have lost a precious heirloom. Oh, like in, um, Apex Legends. Heirloom? You mean like those things you used to brush your hair? That would be a hairbrush, you idiot. Hence the descriptive moniker. <laughs> but, yeah, but yeah, nah, it's it's my golden bell. Um, like it's a bell which is entirely gold. And it doesn't get more specific than that. We can keep a lookout for it if you want. But I, only if I get to ring it at least once. Sure. Jam it in, jam it in your ear. Jam it in your ear while you're at it. Haha. <laughs> But for real, thanks guys. You got it. Can I fall down here? I thought I was about to get cooked down here, I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought it was over for me. Oh, y'all got a, a little Mario 2 gold room? Okay, that's dope, I guess. I mess with it. Is this like a Metroidvania type game, or like, what are we, what are we looking at? Excuse me, lady. I will be going through your belongings. Okay. There's a clock. The clock strikes over there. What if there's a thing over here? No, I'm just kidding. Or wait, what if it's blue because I need to be candy? Imagine. Yo, dead serious, imagine. Sorry. Right, let me leave it alone. Alright, goodbye, lady. And have a nice night. I wonder if the heirloom's even in this demo. And skipping dialogue. 
You can hold Z to speed up dialogue text, and you can hold X to skip the text writing altogether. Dude, here lives Old Kenny. The word old has been written with permanent marker, whereas the rest is embossed onto the letter box. So he stole Kenny's mailbox? Is that what you're just trying to say? Or is it trying to say that Candy wrote Old Candy on Old Candy's mailbox? So many theories. Tries a lot to do the plot. Hint, inventories. Inventory is separated into two item slots. Food and key. Food items can be eaten to restore HP and grand effects. Key items are, are items of key importance and many, it may be of use in the future. Okay. Not seeing much in here. Love that though. Um, you guys' architecture is awful, by the way. Hey there, youngins. <laughs> here for another adventurous tale of mine. Hey, uh, get it? Get what? I mean, get what? Get, yeah. My joke. You see, uh, I said tail because we're cats and we have tails. Anyway, have you, have you two seen my lucky coin? I think I gave him Chester's voice. I don't want to give him a country accent because I can't nail a country accent. Um, about, no, I'm not doing a stupid. I want to say it for Blake. If Blake's in here, I'll do the deep voice. I must have, I must have lost it a while ago. Chat. Did I ever tell you about my battle against the dogs? Only a million. I mean, only a million. It was, it was a, it was a day. It was a day like any other. The sky blue, with clouds sailing across it. The wind was in the trees, soft and yet brittle. I was on my way to see my friend, Blank. I'm hoping Blank is in here so I can give him the deep voice. But on the way there, you wouldn't believe what I saw. Can you hear the story? No! Well, alright then. Maybe another time. Tough. Sorry, guys. I, I'm not doing that. Actually, yeah, no, I kind of care. I feel bad now. Hello again. Did you find my lucky coin? No, but you can talk to me. We were battling against the dogs only a million times. It was a day like any other. The sky was blue. It wasn't the trees, brittle, yada yada blank. Yes. Was it the. Uh, was it the. Um, dogs! Dogs are as far as cats. Cat eyes could see. I like his eyes, dude. But as true as my pointy ears, I did not hesitate. I plowed my way through those crooks, our canine crooks. I must have beat a hundred of them dogs, and I kept losing count. When I finally reached my friend, the poor bat, uh, he was all out of breath. I could only make out a few words. Somehow, the boss dog has returned. The fiendish beast itself. The boss dog. My old nemesis, once vanquished by my claws, had returned. Is this, um, the plot of the game in FNAC 2? I think it is. No, FNAC 3. I think, I think this is the minigame in FNAC 3. It's just that just that game's plot. I knew what I had to do in order to stop him more. So I continued my trek across Sweet Heels. This is just the events of the game, just you know. I cr I crossed the Great Lake, but something w something lurked deep within. The waters were infested not with piranhas or sharks, but murdogs. These aquatic abominations reside in the water. Before they launched themselves at you. Mer dogs, did you make that one up in your sleep? Mer uh, dogs are as real as you and I, kiddo. I could have never made up a creature so cruel. An evil dog mixed with something as delicious as fish. So what happens next? Luckily, I made it across the bridge, with my tail still as connected to my body. But now, hold on to your butts and do not fret. This is where the story takes a dark turn. I can't ask me if I want to continue. Because there I stood. At the entrance to a dark, dark cave. I knew they were going to ask me. So then, I climbed into the cave. Now steep, steep rocks. Luckily, my jumping skills are unmatched. I see why they told me I could skip dialogue now. Luckily, my jumping skills are unmatched by any creature. Deeper within the cave, I faced my many tricky <laughs> My throat's starting to hurt. As well as more dogs to be clobbered. And yet, I made it across a chasm. Leaving them behind, leaving behind me a trail of defeated dogs. I'm, I'm... After, re re after clawing through rubble and stone, I came across a big dog. Gasp! 
this dog was at least four times bigger than the normal dogs. What's worse, it spat fireballs at me. Nearly sang, nearly sang the ends of my fur a few times. Singed, it's singed, I think. The fight was intense and long-winded. I tried to ambush it from behind, but it kept matching my jumps when I tried to jump over it. I thought your jumps were unmatched by any creature. <laughs> yes, very well. I mean, yeah, very well. I couldn't let that big buffoon know this, could I? Anyway, in the end, I resigned. I reigned victorious thanks to my quick tactics. I was at the end of the cave. All the rubble and rock had now been replaced by brick. I had arrived at the lair of the boss dog. The immense feeling of heat kept growing as I progressed. For at the end, there were pools of boiling lava everywhere. And to my surprise, I was not alone. The place was of course infested with dogs and murdogs. Just like back in Sweet Hills. God does this end. However, these were no ordinary living creatures. They had been turned into skeletons. Ske skeletons? Oh my god, I killed that, didn't I? Thank you. Thank you. Please drop a subscription, right? Please, please drop your boy a subscribe. A like, comment, please. Please. Oh, I want a job to do in the future. Anyway, skillet dogs and skillamer dogs, to be exact. But did you think that scared me? Yes. Think again. <laughs> think again. I jumped across the rubble. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry. Um, jumped. <laughs> Sky was ridiculous. I jumped across the, the lava from platform to platform. I was jumping like I'd never jumped in my life. This dialogue is so ridiculous. Oh my god, I'm starting to lose a bit. Okay. <clears throat> Claw my way through skeleton dogs and skeleton mer dogs. They panicked so much that they threw their own bones at me. But finally, I had reached the end of the lair. At the boss dog's chamber. God. Okay. Before entering his chambers, I had to brace myself. For what awaited me would quickly become the fight of my life. If I ever have one of those every morning... I, oh, I have one of those every morning I wake up. I used to do like a good six people say real to that. <sighs> if I didn't screw it up, it'd sound better. I entered the chamber and there he lay. The boss dog himself. The sheer size of this fella, he must have been nearly ten times as tall as me. He began attacking me violently and furiously. With my quick and precise jumps, I managed to dodge around his claws. And using the loot I had found across my journey, I went for his head. Loot, I mean... Loot? Uh, uh, loot? What kind of loot did you find? A non-specific, but useful kind. It made me stronger and more agile. Anyway, after a few new cuts to his face, the boss dog went all out. His claws were... where, where everywhere? I knew there was some words misspelled near. His... Um... He shot his enormous fireballs everywhere. He even shot green lasers from his eyes. Lasers! Awesome! But even with all those powers, he was still no match for me. I finally defeated the boss dog once more. And so I went home for the day. You see, dog you see, dogs like to think themselves superior to cats. And it's that kind of arrogance that blinds them. Because between heaven and earth, I alone am the honored one. One must be wise and know one's own limits. Regardless of species. Wow, I mean, wow, what a story, Grams. Yeah. Any day for you two. That took me so long. Now, unironically, I was about to just give up completely because I don't think I wanted to do that. I mean, if I would, I'm sorry, but if I would have known that would have took so long, I probably would have saved it for my own time. If I fail this one more time. There we go. Is that a kettle? Like, am I supposed to get that kettle? Whoa, what's that? No way! What? What did you find? It's a yarn ball! 
somehow lucky. I bet it could be one of... I bet it could be of use at some point. Ball of yarn was added to your inventory. Oh my god, sorry, I had to scratch my eye. How do I jump? Oh, wow. Hey! Ice cream was added to your food inventory. How do you, how do you enter your inventory again? It's fine. Real men don't use inventory. They just do things without instructions and end up doing them wrong, and they get mad when people tell them that they did it wrong. Like every good man. Um, anyway. Here lives Hillary Hare. Okay. Pressed both buttons on accident. Miss Hare, why do you have a bunch of bricks in your house? And why am I going to think of another voice? Um, I, I want to do like a Bugs Bunny, but that's going to sound so annoying. If I wasn't annoying before, I'm annoying now. And I don't want to get any more annoying than that. Oh, so there are secret bricks. Dude, I was right. Dude, I was 100% right. I knew it. Yeah, I, dude, I literally knew there was secret bricks. It's like a Metroidvania. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Well, if it isn't the feet, hmm. Well, if it isn't the feline twins, by all means, do invite yourselves into my house. What brings you two cutie pies here? Hello, Miss. Has anything been out of order? Out of the, out of the ordinary lately? Not the friendly investigator voice again, Candy. Um, uh, sorry. Um, nope, everything is always beautifully splendid here. However, actually, it'll be darned. I mean, I'll be darned. I, I do have one minor hitch. You see, I've been looking for my little electric, electric guitar, but feel... What? But feel like I've t turned the world over twice with no luck. If I may, what does this guitar look like? Well, well it's green. And it's electric. I think that's about all I know about it. All I know about is she's country. All right. Well, I already screwed it. Got it, miss. Just sit back and, I'll, and let the professionals take care of this. I can barely keep a straight face anymore. Why, thank you. I gave her the deep voice. I don't know any more voices. Wow, the bridge. I mean, whoa, the bridge is broken. Wasn't me. This is what comes of shoddy craftsmanship, I'll tell you. This, this timber here wasn't even properly sanded or waxed. Not to mention it was probably strung together. Truly unprofessional. Yeah, that bridge sucked. Well, guess it'll be better to head back home. Oh, shut it, Candy. So, uh, Mr... Na name's Beaverson. I mean, name name's Beaverson. Mr. Beaverson. A uh, Beaverson and his son logs and logging. Do you think it will be... Do you think you will be able to fix... Do you... Can I speak proper English? Do you think you will be able to fix the bridge? Um, logs are... The logs are already carved... No! The, forget it. The logs are already carved and ready. All I need... All I need is something to string it together with. All of yarn, eh? I've done more with worse. This will do. Now stand back. I knew there was a reason I got that. I'm such a puzzle solver, guys. She's done. S splintered me timbers. Now if you excuse me, my work day is over and it's time for my vacation. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> he just grew bags and carried them? I guess we can start our adventure. Yay! Don't worry, Candy. I doubt this will be a lengthy and epic adventure. <laughs> Oh yeah, I wonder what this, probably what 30 minute demo will incorporate for us. Oh, the dogs. Dude, Sweetsville, that way. So they leave in, so Candy and Cindy live in Sweetsville. Huh. I wonder if, um, so there's a Mario Maker fan game that I think has financed candies in the, um, the style editor. I don't know what it's called, but I, I do remember it existing. I wonder if they're gonna update it whenever Fac Fac Fur, whenever Fnac Fur comes out. 
um i because I, I think i don't know if one of the art like the the art stylist for that like works on this or like what that was all about but it was really cool to see it uh excuse me lady i mean worm worms give me ladies i mean i wouldn't call a lady worm but oh my god Anyway, I wouldn't call a lady a worm, per se, but, you know. <laughs> Ladies, I would never call you a worm. <laughs> Nailed it. W Riz, W Game. Anyway, um... Is that a really long dog? It's like a corgi, right? I don't know my dogs, I don't like animals that much. Am I gonna be able to do anything with these, um... These things? Oh, what? You know, I never really liked those dogs. Chihuahuas, I think they're called. I mean, I actually... Not only, but I never beat FNAC 2, and I never beat FNAC 3, especially because I was too young. I, I, at the time, I didn't have a computer. Who knows, maybe one day, if it's suggested of me, I'll play Fennec. All of them. Real quick. One, two, three. Alright, I'm back. Anyway, uh, sorry for the small jump cut. Who knows, maybe there's like a 30% chance I'll remember to cut this. Warning! Wildflowers, cut with sharp tools. This is like a job for me and my flower cutting claws. I mean, it sounds like a job for me and my flower cutting claws. I'm just trying to get sick of the voices now, and I'm about to- I, I really- I'm gonna try to hold on to them for a little bit, but do know that if I'm still playing FNAF games around the time that I'm- that FNAF Fur comes out? Yeah, I thought I'd just ask. I thought I would see. Um, when this- if- when this game comes out, I'm not doing the stupid voices. I'm only doing them for this because it's a demo. I mean, not unless it's like, suggested that I do it, but I- I don't think I- first off, I don't think I'll ever get suggestions for anything. But I don't think I'm gonna get suggestions to keep doing the stupid voices. I think people- I think I'm starting to get annoyed by them. And I should stop doing them, but I like consistency. Dude, can I- thank you. Golly. I'm sitting slightly different too. Oh yeah, background element, sorry. Oh, you don't get health back? From a save point? Yeesh. Oh, I actually I've seen a screenshot from here. Candy! We meet again. I, maybe I'll do it like an exasperated, like, villain voice. What if I just give him like a really vanilla voice? What if I just do mine? That voice! Could it be? It's, it's me, the rat. <laughs> oh, I'm getting so tired of it. Alright, 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 I got it. It's me, the rat. Your arch nemesis and sworn rival. Oh, snap, it's the rat. That right on the snout, as usual. You see, I'm always ten steps ahead of you. Welcome to my soul society. What devilish plan has he come up with this time? I bet you're just squirming to find out. Hold up. I mean... Hold up. I for forget it. Are we really doing this again? I'm not sure what you mean. It... It's just... Isn't this liter... Oh my god. Isn't this literally another typically bout of good versus bad? Like this, like those we've been through a dozen times already. I mean, he said he has a devilish plan, Cindy. Yeah, but then I'll have to wait for another time. We're in the middle of something here. 
But what could be more important than our epic rivalry? We're collecting all my loose fur. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great panel. <clears throat> you're, you're what? I mean, you're what? You're more than welcome to help us. Otherwise, you'd be... You, you. Otherwise, you'd be better off and save your plan for another day. But... Bye bye Oh, okay. Aw, oh, poor dude, bruh. No. Okay. But screw you, I'm doing my evil plan anyway. What is that? This animatronic of death will make short work of you two. I built it myself from boxes of scrap. What's an animatronic? No way you built that thing yourself. Yeah, the, oh, yes way I built this thing myself. I built it in a cave in the middle of nowhere. And it's a true it's a true atrocity to the eye, just as it should be. In fact, I call it the animatrocity. I'm I'm losing voices here. I'm kinda dumb. Says Mr. Sugar Confection. And now, to put the two cats. Oh, oh man, I should have made a curiosity. Like like Popcos? You know, because curio Oh <laughs> I'm slow. You know, because curiosity killed the whatever. It's too late. No, become gone or something. Oh let's lock in. Oh yeah, let's lock in. Oh. Looks like the animatrocity became an anima trashed. Well, the joke, bro. My anima, my creation, a joy of creation. <laughs> if, it makes, if it makes you feel any better, it didn't really put up much of a fight. But it looks so. I mean, but it looks so cool and deadly. All oh, rats are the best, of course. I'll get you back for this candy, and Cindy. Cindy did it, not Candy. It really didn't put up much of a fight either. He literally just threw it out and it just did nothing. I need your buddy to have a glow up. This is the end of the FNAC Fur Legacy demo. Thanks a ton for playing. Oh, that's it? Wow. Alright, and that's the end of the demo. Alright. So, I mean, I guess from here I can go back. I'll see if there's anything pertaining special. Because I think realistically, counting away like a few minutes for editing, this is like a 30 still minute video, like 32 minute video. So we'll just go back briefly and um, I'll kill this last dog and cause, you know, pan pandemonium within the dog community. But, um, yeah. So that was Shrek for the Legacy demo. Of course, the actual game will probably most definitely be a lot better, probably. Which I will say right now. The, the the humor in this game and the dialogue is insanely funny and I wasn't expecting it to be funny. I was actually expecting it to be serious kind of. Not serious, but like like a lukewarm tone of serious. But high key I actually did kind of miss having a, a funny FNAF fan game to play. Like I think that's crazy. And also uh, on, on a side note, I do kind of hope Kenny's becomes its own thing to the point where they can like make stupid little games like this and stupid little animations. Because this game is peak. Like, I, this is really fun. I wasn't even really initially going to play this until I went on Twitter and I saw that panel of the rat um, with his realistic face. And so, what made me laugh about it wasn't the fact that it was, you know, the, the, the funny face. It was the fact that I thought all of his sprites were like that. So I thought he just had that one sprite that was just not it. With that being said, though, um, my name is Crispy, and this has been Fenac Fur. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Please show your boys some love, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.